Welcome back, and let's solve this. First, I'm going to create a dictionary uh, that will contain all the letters that we find in the word as we iterate over it. I'll just call this letters, and it'll be a blank dictionary. And next, we want to iterate over all the characters in Word. I can just use a for loop for this. I'll call it character in Word. Remember, Word is the string that's being passed into the isIsGram function. So now we want to remember each character as we iterate over it, and this is just adding it to the letters dictionary. So letters, the key is going to be whatever character we find, and then I really don't have any value that I want to have. This really doesn't have any key value pairs, so I could just use none as the value, but this is actually the wrong data structure that you have. You could have something called a set, which is very similar to a dictionary, I just run this real quick, uh, ignore all that output. I can have a dictionary, which I'll store here in spam, and then I can just start adding some keys to this. Just A equals 42, B equals 100. And you can see the dictionary stores these key value pairs. But in this case, I don't really have any value that I need to store, so what I could do instead is I could create a set data structure. And a set is essentially a dictionary without the values. It only has keys in it. These items in the set don't have any sort of order, just like the items here in this dictionary don't have an order. And I add them with the add method. So I could add A, and then add B. And in Python syntax, uh, it also uses the curly braces because it's so similar to dictionaries. But you can tell this is a set because there's no key value pairs. It's just sort of the keys by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and use a set for this as well. So instead of using this syntax, rather I'm going to call its add method and add the character to it. But here's the thing, we also want to check to make sure that this character isn't already inside of this, so I need to rearrange this a little bit. So what I want to do is first check if the character is already inside the letters set. So if character in letters, in which case I want to return false because we've now found a repeated letter inside of it. Finally, after getting all the way through this for loop, I just want to return true. Now there's only one way to test to see if we've successfully completed this, and that's by running the unit test. So I'm going to hit Control B. You can see I've run uh, nine tests, but I failed three of them, and it shows failures right here. So it's this one, test isogram with duplicated non-letter characters. And then also test made up name that is an isogram, and also test word with duplicate character in mixed case. So I'm going to start with this test case. Remember, we wanted to have capital A and lowercase a count as the same letter. But in this case, if we have a lowercase a as character, but we've only added the capital A in letters, then this is going to uh, evaluate to false, and it's not going to trigger that uh, return false. So what we should do is let's set word to be all lowercase letters. So I have this set. So now when this test case is run, it's going to look like this, in which case this A will match this other A, and so this code will return false. Let me undo that uh, and hit Control-B to run this again. So I've solved that one test case, now I'm only failing two test cases, and this is also because these two space characters in this one, and then these two hyphen or dash characters here, are also triggering this to return false when it's expecting it to be true. So remember, we want to ignore all the non-letter characters. So let's add this here at the very start. For non-letter characters, we don't want to check if it's in letters, and we don't want to add it. We just want to move on to the next character. So we need to figure out a way to check if character is a letter or not. So let's go to Google to figure that out. Python, check if string is letter. And we can check out the first, the first result. We can find out there's an isAlpha method. So let's try experimenting with that inside 
the interactive shell. So if I have ABC, I can call isAlpha on it, and that returns true. But 1, 2, 3, when I call isAlpha on that, that returns false. And in fact, if I have any non-letter characters in this string, isAlpha will return false. So we can just check for that right here. If character is alpha, but we want to check if it's not. So we need to flip that around with a not. And in this case, if it's not a letter character, we don't want to return anything, but we just don't want to execute the rest of this. We just want to move on to the next character. So we're just going to run continue right here. So let's go ahead and run the unit test one more time with control B. And we find that all of our tests now passed and we have solved this problem.